Sometimes all you need is two humbuckers and a Floyd Rose. Let's check out the brand new Charvel Pro Mod San Dimas Relic Series. <laughs> Announced at the start of 2024 at NAM, Charvel revealed these brand new relic slash weathered versions of their very, very famous San Dimas model, which certainly I think a few people are maybe going to roll their eyes at, but personally I think this just looks absolutely incredible, especially for anybody who's a fan of old kind of 80s shred or 80s metal and anything. I mean, these guitars just kind of... They fit that mold really, really perfectly. Now the San Dimas model isn't a new addition to the Charvel lineup. As I mentioned, it's maybe one of their most famous models. Very much taking that super strat sort of ethos that Char Charvel kind of like, they helped pioneer it, shall we say. It's certainly uh, Wayne Charvel had a help in with creating the very first super strat, but that's a story for another time. We're here to talk about these really, really, really cool guitars. I'm even tripping over my words because of how high octane playing I've been doing on these. Now, as usual, this video is split up into chapters. So if you do just want to hear the sounds for this guitar, you can check the timestamps just below. But let's just dive into some specs and talk about what goes into these guitars. So first of all, before I dive into those, as I mentioned, they come in a couple of different colors. This one that I've got on my lap, this is the weathered orange finish, which I'll show you the back there as well for that relic work that's gone into this. You do get another additional two colors as well. There is a weathered black and a weathered white, but I, I just really wanted to pull the orange on it because I think this is the coolest color for me. Anyway, you let me know down in the comments what you think is your favorite color out of these three. But if we just jump right into the guitar itself, kind of standard S-type body woods were made out of alder here. Got a bolt on neck, which has got this really cool, made it like the Charvel stamp on the back there as well, which is always a really, really nice touch. Maple neck on there with a PAL ferro board, and that's got 22 extra jumble frets, jumble frets on there, uh, which obviously Connect up to your headstock with the classic sort of Fender style one there. Nothing, you know, too frilly about this guitar. It's just, it's nice and simple. Just get in and you just play with it, which kind of translates when you're looking into the hardware as well. We have one mastered volume and we have a three-way selector that switches between the Seymour Duncan pickups that are in there. GB in the bridge and a Jazz in the neck, or 59 Jazz in the neck, which is a very standard, sort of pairing that you would expect from these 80s super struts. Finally, it's it's got a Floyd Rose 1000 on it here, and this is the black hardware that is on this one, which I think just really, really suits it. And in all honesty, that's kind of it. You've got a, it's kind of standard 25 and a half scale inch, uh, scale length, sorry, on there with a compound 12 to 16 inch radius, obviously for riffing up here, soloing down there, you're not going to have any sort of problems. Going back to the pickups, I'll just let you hear how they sound on a clean signal there. I'll actually, I'll turn my delays off and everything so you can hear it. No push pulls or anything, so these are all just the full humbuckers. Here is the sound of the bridge. Moving into the middle. Finally, the neck. So yeah, when I said there isn't really much to this guitar, genuinely, you know, this is as kind of simple as you can get when it comes to a Super Strat. Obviously, the setup and whatnot for Floyd Roses and everything is going to be maybe that kind of extra step of difficulty for a few people, but. Certainly, you're not going to need to understand lots of different switching systems. You're not going to need to understand loads of push pulls and whatnot. I think this thing just, it demands to be riffed and shredded on. So that's what I'm going to do with it just now. 
All of the sounds you're going to be hearing today is coming from our Supro Black Magic combo. Uh, a couple of pedals that I'm running through into that, including the Friedman BEOD, that's where most of the distortion is going to come from. A couple of extra bits of crunch and delay. The delays and the reverbs are coming from a Line 6, a Line 6 HX stomp. And the combo is mic'd up with a pair of Shure microphones, an SM57 and an SM27. So let's hear how this sounds with a different variety, some really heavy distortion, some cleans. Let's just see how this thing handles.
So hopefully that gave you an idea of what the Relic San Dimas series can do from Charvel. As I've mentioned previously, this guitar sort of, it, it just sort of demands to be riffed and played, you know, kind of metal styles, any rock styles as well. But with those humbuckers not being the, the JB and the 59 in there, they're not the most sort of metal leaning, like this, they're not exclusively used just for that. You know, you can get quite a range out of them if you do want to play, you know, a little bit of crunch on them. If you do just want like a really nice kind of rock tone, you know, nothing too high octane. I think these will handle it really, really well. And I think even some of those cleans there, especially in that middle position, you were definitely getting that little bit of sparkle. But for anyone who is really into their 80s or modded super strats or just want a really, really cool kind of metal leaning guitar shall we say you should definitely check these out especially if you're into relic jobs but let me know what you think about the brand new relic series from charvel down in the comments below while you're there give us a like and give us a subscribe if you've liked the video at all but until next time i've been kieran and this has been one of the charvel pro mod relic series have a great day